it's a big project. Uh, I call it simply Project 28.8. So 28.8 basically is a sustainable primary care solution to ensure our 28.8 million public school children will get their annual checkup, will be able to get primary care 24-7 in their home village. The school, as you know, in many rural areas, is the center of the village. It is the voting center. It is the playground. It is where people uh, gather. So we felt that we can put the clinics, or we call life clinics, or LabEx life clinics, slash digital clinics, in these schools. The clinic is my creation. It is a clinic in a box. It's a, a digital clinic. It has for complete diagnostics. So we can do complete CBC using AI imaging. So AI is implemented in the diagnostics. So one drop of blood goes into a reader. It takes a picture. That picture is sent to the cloud. We can provide the whole 20 parameter uh, CBC read on that, especially platelets. The hard part was my platelets. I, found, I finally found a manufacturer in Brazil that made an AI enabled reader, or we call it digital microscope, to be able to read platelet count. And the big problem in our country, like in India, is we have dengue, dengue virus. The dengue virus fever is rampant in the Philippines and the children are most affected. And platelet count is the number one diagnostic, not counting, not, not doing a tourniquet, looking for white dots. Uh, the best is platelet count to monitor the health of the child. So that was our first AI uh, diagnostic tool. We added additional diagnostic tools for x-ray. But x-ray, I can't afford putting an x-ray in every, every school. So our plans for the x-ray will be a mobile, mobile uh, x-ray lab, which will be, again, enabled by AI on the radiology side. So we, we enable the x-rays. The x-rays will do uh, one shot of the lungs, basically, to look for tuberculosis. So we... We are using AI for tuberculosis diagnosis to ensure accurate reads because we can't send a radiologist at point of care. We're using uh, Starlink. <laughs> so our, our mobile uh, clinics have Starlink. That data is sent. AI reads it. It sends high risk, low risk, uh, et cetera, back to the teacher or administrator for the child. So that's what we've implemented. So the project is is in its infancy. We're still in the 100,000, not 1 million range. But hopefully with the approval of DepEd, we can go into the million every month, every quarter, increase by 2, 3 million children. Because we do need the secretary's assistance because we have to register. It has to be a one command control, right? He has to make a statement saying, okay, all schools in the Philippines sign up with Tom. 